Welcome, everybody. In this episode, I'm going to quickly discuss what I call the three tensions. The first one is intention. The second one is attention. And the third one is just tension. Now, before I dive into these, what am I getting at here? What is the point? When I see a lot of people moving and they come to me, a lot of times they move with no purpose. There's really no real idea of what they're trying to do with the movement that they're uh, doing. They're just kind of, I'm told I'm supposed to move this way in order to work this muscle. Um, so yeah. And then what I also experience with a lot of people is, is when we move and they, you know, have their life and all of the concerns and the things on their mind, what happens is their thoughts are somewhere else. They're not here in the motion, in the movement, in the present moment with what we're doing. And I know this because a lot of times when people move, uh, I will tell them, hey, can you put your left leg forward? And they'll put the right forward and they'll do it again. And they go, sorry, I'm thinking of something else. And maybe we've all been there to some degree and that's okay. But when we're moving, we want to move with that goal of staying in the moment, staying with the stresses of what we're doing in the now, finding ways to get ourselves to that place safely, effectively, and then ultimately helping us on that healing journey. Now, as I said, when we're moving with the first one, it's intention. Now, intention is basically, what are we intending to do with the move? Are we intending to put our weight into our left leg? Are we intending to stay over that left leg? What's the intention uh, throughout the move? Does it change? Am I going from one leg, focusing then to the other leg? You know, So there's a lot of different components that, uh, depending on what we're doing, the specific moves, it will change in many ways, where our, uh, what the intention is. It also will affect our attention too. And that's the second one. So if I'm intending, for example, in a lunge to stay over my left leg, and I want to make sure that there's a specific point in my leg that I'm putting that my intention, that will line up with ultimately what my attention is. So if my weight's over my left leg, I'm tending to keep my weight over that leg, this whole move, I'm going to then maintain an attention for a lot of people in a specific part of the foot. Now, as I said before, with the intention, it can change. It can go from one leg, it can go to the other. But it's important because all of those pieces are already putting us more in the present moment, putting us in that ability to focus on our breathing, putting us in the body, and ultimately listening to the communication that the body is giving us under those stresses or the relaxation. Either way, we want to be present. That's the goal. And then as I said before, the third and final one is tension. Now, if I'm going back to my example, staying over that left leg, I'm tending to stay over this leg the whole move. My attention is on the left foot, specifically, let's just say the fourth and fifth toe right on the ball of that foot. My attention is there. Now, I can change the amount of tension I put into that point, meaning I could push harder into the ground, I can ease up that tension that I've pushed. And I always tell clients it's that how much gas are you going to give it? The more gas, the more challenging it ultimately becomes. The less gas you give, not that it's not challenging, but you are changing how much tension is provided in this movement rather than needing more weight or needing more outside uh, stimulus to give you a response than your body is then reacting to rather than being proactive with that. I hope that makes sense. But as I said before, the three tensions is the intention, the attention, and the tension. If we can line up those three tensions, we are now with the breath in the present moment.